So my name is Laurence Lemieux and I'm the artistic director of Citadel and Company and I'm also the choreographer for the work called Jusqu'à Bimi. Mm -hmm. And I think you do some research before you produce this yes. musical, right? So can yes. You tell us story? Yeah, and it's not a musical per se, it's a dance work. Yeah. But yes, uh, yes, we, we did, uh, we went on a trip to Vimy last April for the 100th anniversary of mm -hmm. the Vimy Ridge Battle. Yeah. And uh, eight dancers and the composer and the videographer, we all traveled to France for uh, artistic research. And um, the inspiration of the work is about uh, eight local soldiers who lived around this building that a hundred years ago left for mm -hmm. Vimy and died. So each dancer was a uh, match with a soldier and then we traveled to France. We saw the grave and the battlegrounds and, and we started our research about mm -hmm. this work. Okay. So is this dance will be very touching or why you pick this story? Why well, pick that story? Um, because it was introduced to me, a person approached me and asked me to do dance about that uh, about two years ago. And I didn't know if I would be able to do that, but then I decided to try it. Mm -hmm. And um, um, I decided to do the piece because it's, even though it's an event that took place a hundred years ago, it felt like very relevant to the world we live in now, which is the wars are still there, there are different kinds of wars. And um, also to talk a little bit about this neighborhood, mm -hmm. because a lot of those soldiers um, left, sometimes for economic reasons or for opportunity to make a bit of money. And uh, they did it with such goodness in their hearts to defend and to help their country. Mm -hmm. Most of them were immigrants as well, and uh, I found that very touching that somebody would just come to this new world a hundred years ago and right away go and fight for this new country of theirs. So mm -hmm. I, I thought it was a beautiful yeah. story that needed to be told. Yes, especially before the releasing before the Remembrance, Remembrance Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are doing a special event on Remembrance Day, but it's it's only for uh, invited guests only. Then we have a performance at the Living Arts Center on the tent the day before, and we start the shows here on the fifteenth. Okay. Yes. Did you, did you get a chance to talk to those descendants of those soldiers? No, no. A lot of them had no descendants because they were like seventeen or eighteen years old without any kids. I've been doing a lot of research uh, and it's been very hard to actually find the descendants. It's not something, it's not like a magic list where you can just look up and, and um, although we're getting close to finding some of them to invite them to the performance. Mm -hmm. The inspiration is from these people, but it's not, it's not just about these people as well. It becomes a story, a story about the war the general, and yeah. loss and death. Okay. And so, survival. Okay. <laughs> yes. So through the assist, artistic dance, how you portray of uh, reflecting the war elements, the, yeah. the you know the tragedy. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's hard <laughs> because dance is a difficult medium to to express war in a way because it's a very personal, uh, internal, subtle. Uh, especially contemporary dance, it's not a big ballet on a big stage. It's a very intimate place. Mm -hmm. So I've decided to approach it very personally for each each dancer has their own story. Okay. So we, we follow the story of eight soldiers, dancers. Mm -hmm. And I have the support of a really great team of artists, um, the composer. So there's, you, 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 it sounds like you're at war. And then um, a videographer, so there's images being projected. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you feel like you're in a movie and then you have these people coming to life. Okay. But it's not just with movement, it's really movement, sound and mm -hmm. imagery. So it's a multimedia production? Yes. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's so touching dance and then what do you expect from the audience when, you, when they see your dance, your the piece of art? I think the what I would like is to for people to be able to relate to these dancers mm -hmm. and to sort of for an hour sort of suspend their lives and think about it. Just think about 
the cost of war, even though I'm not making a judgment on, oh, we shouldn't have any wars. It's not what I'm saying, but it is a cost. It's a loss of life. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it feels like it, it doesn't look like it's necessary. In this case, it is and it was, you know? And I think if the outcome is, was different, we would live in a very different world. But, but every day people do sacrifices mm -hmm. to improve our life and then we need to look at that mm -hmm. and respect that. And also, a lot of the dancers in the cast have great-grandfathers who went to war, who survived, but then who came home and had difficulties reintegrating with exactly. society. Yeah. So it's also about that, like, mm -hmm. the, co the it's a real cost. Yeah, not just the lives, also the after effects. The afterlife, the, the people yeah. who stay, who mm -hmm. feel like they didn't do enough, okay. who don't feel like a hero, they feel and they have a hard time coming back to their lives. Mm -hmm. And we don't necessarily take care of them, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. even now. I see. Yeah. Can you tell us more about your trip to Vimy? To Vimy? Yeah. Vimy was amazing. I've never been to Vimy. I've been to France and I'm Francophone, so I'm from Quebec and my ancestors That's came from France yes. a long, long time ago. Yeah. But I've never been to Vimy and it's, it was overwhelming. Uh, we saw a lot of great sites and cemeteries and monuments. Mm -hmm. What was most moving is we stayed in a village, a small village called Givenchy en Goël, mm -hmm. and it was, it's very close to Vivi. And during the war, um, First World War, 400 Canadians died defending this village. So the villagers, 100 years later, they had Canadian flags everywhere on every, every house. Mm -hmm. And if you talk to somebody my age, they would say thank you, because you're a Canadian. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the kids sang the Canadian national anthem in French, they knew it by heart. It was as if, not to say that Canada was more important to France, but for them, the reason they're still alive is because of Canada. So they have this, it was, that was very overwhelming. We knew, I knew about this, but I never experienced it one-on-one. -on -one. And also we share the same language. So they were able to communicate really clearly to me mm -hmm. how important we were to them. A hundred years after, mm -hmm. extremely important. Like they taught that to their kids and their kids and their kids and their kids. Oh, I see. Yes. So generation from generation, sorry. Of, of thank you to Canada, <laughs> of endless thank you to Canada. Yeah. Yes. So that's why Canada is a peacekeeper in the world. That's yes, and you, we see it, we feel it. But when you go to a place yeah. like such mm -hmm. as Vimy, you you feel it, mm -hmm. and you there. It's honest. It's true. That's how they feel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So last question, yes. like, uh, from the inception to now, it's just like bearing a baby, now the baby yes. is going to be born. Right? The so. baby's going to be born. Yeah. It's a very difficult process <laughs> uh, because there's a lot of uh, there's decisions that have to be taken mm -hmm. and uh, I'm in charge of it. Mm -hmm. I'm the director. I, I want to make sure I do justice to the subject at hand. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost impossible, but I keep working hard and think that I like it's an important piece for me to do mm -hmm. and I it's the last we have about two weeks left a bit less than two weeks mm -hmm. so really good deci important decisions have to be taken now mm -hmm. but I'm every day I wake up and I go okay I have yeah. to do this properly yes it's your important piece it's also a meaningful piece yeah so who, who fund this piece who's, yeah who, who, who's going to like you need a lot of funding to make this happen. Oh, yes, yeah. that's hard part. Yeah. Always, you can't, it's not like people give you money to do this. You have to look for the money. You mm -hmm. have to generate interest from either private foundation or individuals. Or or arts Council. Arts Council, of yeah. course, always. We're supported by the Canada Council, Toronto Arts Council, yeah. Ontario Arts Council, um, Layla, uh, not Layla Foundation, but the Jackman Foundation helped as well. Mm -hmm. So. But you, it, it, it's not a magical thing. And it's not because you, it's a, you think it's important that people are gonna give yeah. money for it. You have to make all of this work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see happy, you know, happiness in your face too. Yeah, yes, thank Good. you. Thank you. Thank you very much.